The disturbing question is being asked in the wake of the death of a teenager who plummeted to the ground last week during an amusement park ride. At more than 300 pounds, was the young man simply too heavy? Here's Amber Cagliano. Was he too big for the ride? Tyree Sampson, the gentle giant who plunged to his death at an amusement park in Orlando, weighed around 325 pounds and stood 6'5". The 14-year-old youngster played football for his high school. He was visiting Orlando from Missouri, and he had reportedly been turned away from at least two other rides at the park because of his size. The accident happened at Icon Park, where the 430-foot freefall ride is a popular attraction. In Europe, the maximum passenger weight on this ride is 287 pounds, according to the manual. But in the USA, there is no maximum weight regulation. Safety expert Brian Avery. Weight, in my opinion, was absolutely a factor. He was not an appropriate fit for the device. This photo shows Tyree sitting on the ride the night of the mishap, ready to be lifted 430 feet into the air. Avery has a suggestion to prevent tragedies like this happening again. If you had utilized some sort of secondary fail-safe mechanism, such as a, a latching seatbelt or something along those lines, uh, he would have been contained. He'd most likely be alive. At a news conference today, there was an update on the investigation. Based on the investigation, uh, I think it may be that we will look at seatbelts. You and I drive cars that have seat belts and airbags. So I think redundancy is a good thing. The accident report states that the harness was still in the down and lock position when the ride stopped. A representative for the company that operates the ride told us it won't function unless the harness is locked and secure.